Hello fellow crafters, my name is George and this is the Spare Time G and today we're gonna make a famous M250 cal machine gun from Hollywood and many video games. If you enjoy my projects, consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell to get notified once I upload a new video. M2 is my favorite machine gun, uh, probably if you have seen any kind of action movie in Hollywood or have uh, uh, experienced any kind of video game where you have the massive machine gun on top of the um, vehicle, that is going to be probably uh, this M250 cal, uh, which really has a really thick barrel, uh, so to make it I am using a uh, relatively thicker rod of clay to engulf the uh, the tube, the plastic tube with it. Uh, the origins of this plastic tube, as you know if you have watched my Gatling gun video, is uh, the ear cleaner um, tubes. Um, I have uh, taken off the cotton from both sides of them and then used the toothpick uh, to kind of connect them together. Uh, the toothpick was covered with clay, of course, to maximize the friction and make it uh, kind of harder to come uh, off. And right now I'm engulfing the, everything together with the uh, clay in order to get this uh, thick barrel look. If you roll it over several times, uh, you will get the desired rounded, nice, uh, smooth th surface that the barrels have. Here is the uh, cooler mechanism on top, uh, I mean on the end of the barrel. As you can see I have already made these holes for which I'm using just this simple pen, retractable pen of course. I'm just pushing it against uh, and of course you will have to make this kind of 4-3-4-3 four, three, four, three holes, not the parallel to each other but kind of um, in between um, pattern like this. Uh, here I'm going with three of course and then I will go for four again. Do it several times, you, you do not need to make everything symmetrical but try to at least have the decent uh, uh, proportions on the top as the bottom side won't be visible as much as the top one so you can conceal any kind of irregularities on the bottom side. Yeah, making this hole is quite easy and I uh, assume this is the uh, cooler mechanism, uh, so to say, which makes the barrel cool off a little bit. This is my just my opinion, not very sure about that. Uh, here I'm going to make the hole uh, using the tooth bra uh, toothpick again, which will resemble the barrel. And using a narrow piece of clay, I'm going to make a barrel, which uh, the part of the barrel uh, which uh, needs to be engulfed. We're going to co like pro cover the thick part with the with the patterned clay part, and the end of it is narrow again because I'm going to use it to stick into the main body of machine gun, as you can see here. Of course, you initially need to make the hole inside this clay and then push it in, in the um, and push the barrel in because uh, the tube I'm using is not very thick and if you make kind of a strong grip on the clay layer, it will distort. So you don't need that. You need the minimal effort to put the barrel in. And here I'm just covering it up with this uh, patterned clay part. And I have this nice, uh, really, uh, I'm really happy with this look as it is looking right now. And uh, right now I will have to make some kind of details and triggers and such. Here are some spare details I have made uh, for the machine gun. This is the uh, handle, which is quite neat in my opinion. It is quite hard to make because of its small size and I have not used any kind of wire in order to make this a shape uh, uh, and this is the uh, probably the uh, mechanism which uh, charges the machine gun or makes the ammunition load or something like that probably uh, it, which is uh, protruded on the side and this is the simple belt of 50 cal ammunition it was quite tough to make as well I have used uh, two colored clay one 
supposed to be a copper and the second more, more like goldish look uh, and then I have used just um, black narrow clay to make this kind of belt look which is going to be uh, coming out of the magazine as you can see here I have spent a lot of time making this kind of bolts and handles and cracks and so on um, this is not the 100% accurate picture as I tried to use several photos in the Google images for reference but yeah of course I have used my imagination to get details wherever I liked so to say and here you can see the trigger uh, it is I think operated by thumb push uh, you grip the both handles with your both ha hands and then push the thumb when you want to fire the machine gun I think that works like that as I have seen in the movies and probably in several um, video games and here is the tripod um, I have used the steel wire and copper uh, for these two pieces the steel wire is making the tripod itself, which is quite huge as you can see uh, and the uh, Forward part is going to be this one thicker leg and the copper part will make the um, Gun itself support on the top and at the same time the magazine which is going to be protruding on the side and Here is the uh, clay coated version as you can see and the magazine itself uh, which is protruding on the side mm, quite neatly. The huge legs are for ground stance, uh, as you can see. There are some hooks as well, which mm, probably is used to fasten it uh, firmer on the ground if you need so. And here is the assembled, uh, assembled machine gun, so to say. I'm really happy with this one. I really like uh, the distress, this uh, look, the color at the same time um, and all these details on it and the size as well. If you want to use it for some kind of uh, zombie slash army sculptures, you can uh, use this one um, as it will be a nice decoration and for me it is the uh, separate sculpture itself. And here is the Gatling at the same time. Uh, here you can see the size comparison uh, as well as the thicknesses between the barrels and the lengths, of course. And yeah, I'm really happy with both of them. Can't really tell which is my favorite, but I can ad make one uh, nice advice. If you are going against some kind of zombie horde, you probably will use M2 much more effectively as if you fire Gatling you will find yourself out of ammunition in several seconds so that is the no-go for me and that was it thank you everybody for watching I hope you enjoyed this project as much as I enjoyed making it it was quite fun and I'm a really big fan of M2 and other kind of military equipment and hopefully you liked it as well thank you again see you next time and have a nice day. Goodbye.